Good day boys and girls, this is our next video lesson. It is exactly the same as the grade 8 one. Um, it's about visual texts. I've been doing visual texts this whole week, basically from grade 6. Um, we, we touched on this in the first term as well, and I told you that I noticed that they are including visual texts in the exam papers more and more. So I really want us to do a couple of exercises on this. We're just going to quickly have a look. So a visual text... Um, two examples of visual text you have either cartoons or advertisements there are other examples as well but um, for today's lesson I just want us to look at cartoons cartoons are drawings that make people laugh or make people think if you think about when Jacob Zuma was our president oh the cartoonists loved him he got himself into all sorts of situations and they used to draw all sorts of funny pictures about and we're not going to go into that now but you if you recall yeah, some of the guys weren't very kind to him so sometimes a cartoon is basically just to draw a laugh from people but sometimes it is um, social commentary on the happenings of the day the news events of the day so we have two different cartoons one is a single single cartoon where there's only one frame or one picture involved or we have strip cartoons which consist of several frames. Cartoons are simple with no extra details. They are often exaggerated or overstated and therefore the characters' features are often drawn in a funny manner. You'll see that sometimes heads are very big or noses are very big in comparison to bodies, etc. This is to either draw love or to emphasize the message that the cartoonist is trying to, to get across to his readers. Um, the words that the characters say are written in speech bubbles and the thoughts of the characters are put in cloud shaped bubbles so that's how you distinguish between are they saying something or is a character just thinking and then loud noises or shouting are typically written in bold capital letters um, such as the ones here are you listening um, then that will tell you this has been really shouted out loud Okay, so today's example, just very quickly, there is an example, I don't even really have to explain it, you can see the font um, of the words, it's Monday, makes you think of a horror almost, and we know we are all horrified when, one, when Monday morning comes along and we need to go to school or to work. So you can see our two characters there are horrified, the boy in the background is screaming and most probably crying. Um, and the little dog there, his ears are all wobbly and his eyes are big and he's also absolutely terrified. So that is basically what a cartoon is all about. Without saying much, you derive from the picture what is happening there and the message that um, the cartoon is trying to convey. I want us to do an example or to do an exercise on this. So I've given you this as a visual text exercise. Um, Please study this. It's about tuberculosis or TB, which is a very serious disease. Um, it is responsible for killing about 5,000 people worldwide every single day. So um, uh, this is not necessarily a cartoon, boys and girls, but it is a visual text. So study the information there and then I would like you to answer these questions on an exam pad. There are only seven questions, but if you study the text very carefully, you will see that you can you can get all the answers directly from the visual text itself. So on an exam pad, first line, your heading is visual text exercise, your name, your surname, the date on which you do it, and then you answer questions one to seven. Um, just look at um, at the picture, um, the visual text, and the answers are are there. You don't even have to go look for them really. Um, and that's basically all that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, what I can just say is that we'll obviously do some more of these exercises going forward when we're back in class as well, um, because this will definitely be included in your future exam papers. Okay, boys and girls, thank you very much and stay healthy.